hello from a beautifully sunny Conwy. How are you? How are you getting on with this, what they call new normal? Well, uh, it's normal, right? It's always sunny. And the laburnum here is making a great show. Uh, you can hear bird song and the sound of traffic going by and there are people going by too on the other side of the wall. But of course it's not normal. The great B&B &B next door is closed. There are no coaches in the parking bay and we would normally be welcoming people into church with our great team of volunteers. The visitors have to stay away. We are living with the threat and in some cases the reality of COVID-19. It is casting its long and painful shadow on the whole earth. The world, it would seem, is suffering and holding its breath. The story today of the travellers along the Emmaus Road feels to me like they were walking under a dark cloud. It may feel like lockdown too is like living under a dark cloud despite the sunshine. But it's under that dark cloud that Jesus joins them and begins to teach them. God himself is with them in all of their concerns. And today we're thinking precisely of that. What is God teaching us through this time? What is he teaching us about how we value people? Who we value? How do we come together as communities? What impact do we as people of faith have in our communities? How are we stewarding our resources how are we looking after our planet? This week I've had the pleasure of working with great photographer and friend Mark McNulty as he's put his amazing images to a favourite poem of mine called For the Interim Time by spiritual writer John O'Donoghue. He says in this poem how through a time of uncertainty we can endure and we can learn how to be fruitful because for sure we are not going to come out the same. We have loved and we in many cases have lost and yet we endure and we learn. So here, for the interim time, when near the end of day, life has drained out of light and it is too soon for the mind of night to have darkened things. No place looks like itself. Loss of outline makes everything look strangely in between, unsure of what has been or what might come. In this one light, even trees seem groundless. In a while it will be night, but nothing here seems to believe the relief of darkness. You are in this time of the interim, where everything seems withheld. The path you took to get here has washed out. The way forward is still concealed from you. The old is not old enough to have died away. The new is still too young to be born. You cannot lay claim to anything in this place of dusk. Your eyes are blurred and there is no mirror. Everyone else has lost sight of your heart and you can see nowhere to put your trust. You know you have to make your own way through. As far as you can, hold your confidence. Do not allow confusion to squander this call, which is loosening your roots in false ground, that you might come free from all you have outgrown. 
What is being transfigured here is your mind and it is difficult and slow to become new. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your arrival in the new dawn.